In this video, I'll, I'll go through a simple voltage divider example, like how to solve this problem. So we have a simple circuit that I got from a textbook. So we have a 12 volts battery, for instance, in series of uh, resistor 0.1 ohms. So at the kind of this is the internal resistance of the source. Then these are the terminals of the battery. For instance, you know, you have this resistor, 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 resistor. So we want to know what the voltage is at the terminal of this source here, and also what the voltage at this resistor here, 10 ohm. So one way, so one thing we see before we kind of start, you see these two are in series, so they can be combined. So their equivalent is just 2 ohm plus 10 ohm, which is 12 ohms. So now we have that 12 ohm resistor here is in parallel with this 6 ohm, which is in parallel with 4 ohm. So if I redraw the circuit, so that's what I'm doing here. So this 12 ohm, ohm here, is 2 plus 10 basically from the previous slide then I can take the equivalent which is just 1 over 1 for 1 over 4 plus 1 over 6 plus 1 over 12 so if I solve I get 2 ohms so I can redraw the circuit just like this without changing anything basically the significance so I have the terminals here so then this is just to, basically to the source at the uh, VB here, what it sees really as a, as a resistor, equivalent resistor, is just two ohms. It's just a combination of series parallel, but the resultant is just two ohms. So then if I do voltage divider, VB is just two ohms or let's not write the units, divided by 2 plus 0 0.1, 0 0.1 times 12 volts, the source. So just voltage divided basically, which is 11.43 volts. So basically, I, I solved or I simplified the resistance from right to left all the way to the terminal here of the, of the source. Now I can go back, I know I don't have to draw the source and everything. At the terminal, at the terminals of the source, so you have the source kind of behind it here, but I know VB is just 11.43 volts. So from the terminals, I have four ohm resistor here. I have six, ohm resistor, then I have 2 ohm resistor, then I have the 10 ohm resistor, and I have VL is across 10 ohm resistor. But notice this VB is kind of in parallel with the 4 ohm. That means VB will also occur here because nothing is connected here. And also it's in parallel with the 6 ohm. That means VB, will, the same voltage will occur here. So in other words, for, for this circuit, I, really, I don't care about 4 ohm and 6 ohm. So I can just redraw the circuit. So this is VB, which is 11.43 volts. Basically, I'm going to ignore everything until I get to 2 ohm resistor and 10 ohm resistor, and this is VL. Because these two are in parallel with VB, that means as if they don't exist. If I remove them, they don't change anything. That's what I'm doing. Now, I can apply another voltage uh, divider, which is VL is just 10, the resistor across which the VL occurs 
divided by 10 plus 2 times VB. And VB is just 11.43 volts. So I get 9.52 volts. So that's kind of, you know, sometimes some resistors are, if they're in parallel with the voltage, you should just ignore, ignore them. The same thing with current. If you have current, any resistor in series, because the same current will flow the series resistor, those you would just ignore. So you kind of remove those so they're not causing any confusion. Thank you.